Michael Crizo finished on 12th place at the stacked 2022 Mr. Olympia, which was not bad for a debut, but let's be honest, that wasn't his best. But we saw the best Michael Crizo this past weekend in Spain at the Empro Classic, and this version of Crizo would have made the first call out at the Olympia, in my opinion. So this is exactly what we are about to see in this video, the Empro version of Crizo on the 2022 Olympia stage first call out next to the top 6 in all the 8 mandatory poses. Front double biceps. You can find this kind of videos only on Super Setman. If you guys appreciate the work, hit the likes button. We have 7 guys in front of us, I won't turn this video into a 7 man comparison, but rather I want to give you guys an idea on how Michael Crizo at his 100% conditioning wise looks against the very best in the world. I think Crizo has got a pretty strong case to win this pose, this first pose. His guns match the best guns on this stage, the guns of Nick Walker, while being taller and having a better overall flow. His pose doesn't flow as good as Hardy or Derek, but uh, he compensates with overall size and the guns, of course. Brandon doesn't stand a chance against this Crizo, in my opinion, he's too watery. As for Samson and Rami, I already compared them separately to this version of Crizo using their better versions from the Arnold Classic and they both kinda lost. Find links to these videos in the description. Front lat spread and as established, Samson, Rami and Brandon are no match to this version of Crizo, at least not in my opinion. So I'm gonna focus more on the top 3 against Crizo, meaning Hadi, Derek and Nick. I believe Michael Grizzo wins the front lat spread pose against this entire lineup. Side chest and Grizzo looks great through the upper body, possibly the best, but he really needs to step up the lower body as well to be more competitive. He gets exposed standing between Derek and Nick, not to mention Big Rami. Back double biceps and considering that Derek and Nick had the best backs at this show, Crizo looks quite impressive standing in between them, at least as far as the upper body is concerned. But once again, even more so from the back, Crizo needs more work downstairs. Conditioning and details look good, but he needs more size. Same thing in the back lat spread, his back kinda looks like the best in this entire lineup maybe, but uh, he needs to step up his lower body to be truly competitive. Side triceps pose is next, Crizo's pose is legit, but upper body he loses to at least a couple of guys here, I believe Nick Walker runs away with this pose overall. Also lower body, Crizo lacks size and details from the side. Abs and thighs, Crizo looks decent, but he's not in the discussion of winning this pose, but rather of avoiding last place if you ask me. But he most definitely wins the most muscular pose. There's nothing you can do against this mass monster in this pose. I said it in my last videos and I say it again. This most muscular of uh, Crizo is one of the best of all time. In conclusion, where do I believe Crizo would place in this lineup? Like I mentioned before, I certainly believe this version of Crizo would place above uh, these versions of Samson, Rami and Brandon. Also based on the pictures, he definitely challenges all three guys from the top three and he is a real threat for any of them, especially in the upper body, however, his lower body lets him down for the moment and if you also count the bad posing style and his inability to stay locked in a pose without constantly shaking, I don't think he would beat these uh, three guys. So my conclusion is that this version of Crizo with this awesome level of conditioning would have made the top 4 at the 2022 Olympia which makes him a real threat this year. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below, also like and subscribe, see you soon.